friends, how's it going? Happy March. I'm sorry it's been a couple weeks since I've made a video. Last couple weeks have been crazy. I've had a lot of weird health stuff going on, but things are finally better and back on track. So I just wanted to make a video today for you guys. I'm stretching my con piercings up to 12 gauge. I think they are ready. I stretched them a few weeks ago to 14 gauge and my goal size is 8 gauge. So I think they are ready today to stretch on up to 12 gauge. They have um, felt healed for you know a few weeks now so I believe they are both ready to be stretched on up so I'm just going to get right on into that now for you guys. Gonna put my hair back so it's out of the way and I don't have it like down in the piercing holes because that's the most annoying thing ever is when you have like hair and you're trying to change up piercing or something so anyway I'm going to be using my body j for you piercing aftercare spray just to spray on my ears before and after I do this process and then I'm also going to be using my um, holy butter from them as well I do have a little bit of this left and this is basically just a stretching lubricant this is not a sponsored video by them but they have sent me stuff in the past for videos so I just wanted to continue to promote the company because they are really great and I really like their products and actually the plugs I'm going to be putting in are from them as well these are just little 12 gauge stainless steel silver eyelets and then I'm going to be using a taper from I believe I ordered these from King's Body Jewelry. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead like I said I'm going to spray my ears down a little just to sort of like I don't know it feels good the spray feels good <laughs> so I'm just going to like kind of lube up my ears a little bit with this spray. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and start with my right ear and I didn't bring my gloves in here. I did wash my hands beforehand. Um, but I did not bring my gloves in here and I might regret that. I may have to go get them. I don't know. Sometimes I need my latex gloves to like help me get the balls unscrewed and stuff like that. So I may have to go grab those in a second, but we'll see. I'm just going to try to like loosen one ear or the other. I don't know. Whichever one I can get loosened first, I guess. All right. I've got this one off just fine. So I'm going to go ahead and slide that 14 gauge piece out of my ear. Then I'm just going to lube up this taper really, really well so that hopefully it just slides right through my ear. And then also lube up the piercing as well, the piercing hole. Um, and then I'm just going to be following the taper through with a 12 gauge eyelet. Hopefully. Let's see how this goes, guys. And I'm going to be going through front to back with this one because the taper can be inserted. Um, from the front. So this is going pretty smoothly so far. Not really feeling any resistance. I'm just going really, really slowly. Just so I don't hurt myself. Stretching cartilage is very different than stretching my lobes. Um, it just feels very different. Like honestly, it kind of feels a little crunchy. Like I don't hear any crunches, but it just feels crunchy if you know what I mean by that. So it's just very different. Cartilage takes a lot longer to heal than like a, a low piercing would. So, all right, I believe that taper is pretty much all the way through there. So, I'm gonna go ahead and insert this eyelet. I'm gonna loop it up as well so that it just slides right on through. All right, so let's see if I can just follow this right on through. <laughs> Okay, so at first I had just a tiny bit of trouble getting the actual plug to follow through with the taper, but I think it's just cause, like my hands are super shaky today. I have like autoimmune issues and stuff that like make me kind of shaky. Um, and for some reason I always decide I'm gonna stretch my ears or do something with piercings on days that I'm super shaky, I don't know. Um, so I just had a little bit of trouble there for a second to follow through, so my ears kind of red and irritated, but I did get the 12 gauge plug or tunnel eyelet, whatever you wanna call it, through. Um, my conch piercing in my right ear. So I'm just gonna put this O-ring on the back here. And there we go. So there is enough room in the flare of this plug for swelling. I feel like my ear is gonna swell just a little just cause it's kind of irritated. Like I said, I was um, kind of fiddling with it for a minute there trying to get that plug to follow through with the taper. But um, yeah, I think it looks really, really neat. Um, I like how that looks. There's just a teeny tiny hole there, like you can barely see through the eyelet because it's so small, but I really, really like it. So I'm gonna go on now and do my left ear, which should be a little easier. This was easier to stretch up to 14 gauge, and I think it's because this ear was pierced at a 14 gauge, like this conch was pierced at a 14 gauge. So um, stretching shouldn't be as difficult, at least to this size. Um, for this piercing because, you know, it's been at a larger size before. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll just see how this goes. Alright, looping up the taper and my ear again. And yeah, let's see how this one goes. Yep. 
yeah, that was even easier than the right ear. So <laughs> I don't know if it's going to be that way the whole time, but I guess we'll just see. Maybe my left ear is just stretchier. I think my lobe has been easier to stretch on my left ear the whole time as well. So I don't know. Maybe that side of my body just is easier to stretch. I don't really know what contributes to that. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to loop up this plug and hopefully be able to follow this one through a little easier <laughs> than I did my right ear. Let's see here. Ugh, we got hair in the way, which is what I was trying to avoid. Ugh, it's like wrapped around the taper in the back. There we go. Yeah, that went through way easier than my right ear. I didn't even have to fiddle with it at all. So I don't know if it's going to be easier the whole time or not, but I guess we'll just find out. Wipe off that excess lube there. Oh, guys, that looks so cool. I'm so excited to get these even bigger. I like that you can see through them just a little bit. That's really, really neat. Fitting that O-ring on the back there. Oh, guys, this is so cool. I'm so excited. These look so good. My ears are really starting to get where I want them. Oh my God, if I have lipstick on my teeth this whole video, that's so embarrassing. I probably have. Oh well, you guys know by this point that's just how I am. So I'm going to spray my ears down with this spray again, especially my right ear because like I said, I'm sure it's going to be super irritated. Um, and this spray is so soothing. Um, what does it have in it? That just dripped like all down my shirt, those girls. It has like witch hazel and oh my gosh, like all kinds of other extracts and stuff in it. it has like a cucumber extract. I'm sure it's really, really soothing. All these awesome things that make my ears feel so much better every time I stretch them or do anything with them. So, um, yeah, that's why I keep using the spray because it's awesome. But yeah, so I will give you guys a look here at my ears as they are currently March 1st, 2019. <laughs> my little 12 gauge conches, my industrial is back in this ear, and then the only other thing I have is my stretched lobes. Um, I'm so excited about these 12 gauge conches. These are awesome. And then my left ear, I just have my helix piercing up here and of course my 12 gauge conch and my lobes. That's it. That's all I have in my ears currently. That's just kind of where I wanted them to be at this point. So yeah, I'm so excited. These eyelets look awesome. All right. So I hope that video was entertaining or helpful or informative in some way. I don't even know. I hope you guys are having a great day as always and I'm gonna try to actually stay on a video schedule from now on and have videos up every Friday. So hopefully I will see you guys next week. Bye!